Focus, the center of interest or activity, the state or quality of having or producing clear visual definition. Hey you guys, what is up and welcome to a brand new video. As you can tell by the title, this video is a little bit different than what I normally do. I've been seeing these visual diaries everywhere and I just think that the concept is just so cute. So I had to go ahead and try my hand at one of these videos. Today, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about focus and finding myself. Us as women, whether we're moms, wives, daughters, sisters, entrepreneurs, if we're employees, whatever the case is, we wear so many hats. And a lot of the times, all of those roles come before just taking care of ourselves. I know for me as a mom, at the end of the day, I look up and half the time, I haven't spent any time on myself. So I decided to go ahead and just focus a couple of days out of the week, just focus on me focus on my happiness, my relaxation, getting my life together, whatever that might look like for the day. But honestly, just focusing on myself. For me, I was able to focus on myself on Wednesdays and Thursdays when the kids are gone. Um, that's the time where I have to myself and no distractions so this week i decided to literally just spend the day focusing on myself doing something that i wanted to do something that i hadn't done in a long time which was go shopping you guys if i'm ever shopping it's not for myself i can't remember the last time that i actually like went to the store and just looked around for myself it's always for the kids or for the house or whatever so Today, I just wanted to kind of wake up leisurely, laid in the bed, hung around, and I decided I wanted to stroll Target. There were a couple of things that I needed to get, so I decided to take a trip to Target. I also went to Home Goods, um, went and got me some food, and just kind of enjoyed an afternoon of quiet, an afternoon by myself, and an afternoon where I didn't have to rush. I could just take my time and just love on me. I find that one of the best things is to take yourself out on a date. Take yourself out on a solo date, a self date, whatever you want to call it, but just Take yourself out, whether it's to a restaurant, whether it's to the movies, or just if you want to just browse Target like I did, or, you know, go even go to the dollar store, y'all. Just get out and have that time to yourself. Even if you just want to sit in the car or sit at Starbucks and work and just be to yourself, but that time is so necessary and so important. And I'm really finding out that just having time for me is golden it's the best thing ever and one of the things that i'm learning is just to slow down. Everything is not a race. Everything doesn't have to be done super fast. It's okay to slow down, enjoy the process, enjoy the space and the time that you're in and not always rushing to 
the next goal or the next step. I'm so very goal oriented that I find myself just checking off the goals and the task and not really being able to enjoy the little things, being able to enjoy the process along the way. I'm learning each and every day and I think that's the beauty of life. You get to experience new things each and every day and it shouldn't always be a rat race. You should be able to take time to smell the flowers and to just relax and to just live in the moment. And so that's really what I need to try to do is just to be and not just always on the go. Be able to be still be silent, listen. I think for me, one of the hardest things was spending time by myself, especially when I was newly single. I just remember trying to fill my time and fill my day with things. I was constantly busy constantly not having to think about anything but in reality I have to eventually deal with it so I think now I'm at a point to where I'm completely healed and I'm actually able to be by myself be in quiet sit in my thoughts and I'm not afraid of sitting in my thoughts or what will come in the silence and I actually bring on that I love it now and I'm so glad that I was able to face that head on instead of it crippling me in the future I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you did and if you would like to see more visual diaries get a little insight on my thoughts and just what I'm thinking what I'm going through there today just a little bit more personal than the regular vlogs so I will check you guys in the next video until next time bye